Today we delve into the lives of three exceptional characters, each bearing powers that challenge the fabric of reality itself. We are back with another dose of excitement for you Jujutsu Kaisen fans. If you are too scared of spoilers, this video is not for you. As for those who want to be prepared for the next arc, stay seated and buckle up. We are introducing three new characters and the secret to their powers. Firstly, we have the judicious Avenger, Hiromi Higuruma. In the world of cursed energy, Hiromi Higuruma stands as a beacon of blind justice. Once a non-sorcerer, his life took a dramatic turn, awakening to a cursed technique that set him apart in the culling game. With his newfound abilities, Hiromi wields great cursed energy, a testament to his exceptional capacity to harness and amplify his powers. But his true might lies in Judgment, a formidable shikigami that embodies justice itself, blind to bias, impatient for verdicts. His deadliest arsenal? The deadly sentencing. Hiromi conjures a courtroom domain, a place where violence of all forms is prohibited. That also means during trial, no cursed techniques are allowed to be used. Not even Sukuna can overpower this part of the technique. Unlike the guaranteed hit domains, whoever Hiromi chooses to make them part of the trial simply have to follow its rules. The judgment, which we previously discussed, floats behind Hiromi and acts as a prosecutor. In the domain overseen by judgment, it knows the secrets of everyone entering the domain. The defendant, who is Hiromi's opponent, is put on trial and Hiromi receives evidence from a Shikigami, though this evidence often lacks the clarity needed for definitive judgments. The outcome of this trial rests on the arguments presented by the defendant and Hiromi, with the defendant striving to prove their innocence. The rules of the domain stipulate a single chance for both the defendant and the prosecution to present their case before judgment issues a verdict. The defendant must choose from three strategies, remaining silent, confessing, or denying the accusations followed by Hiromi's opportunity to respond based on the evidence at his disposal. These proceedings are governed by a binding vow, ensuring that all parties adhere to the established protocol. A guilty verdict carries significant repercussions, including the loss of the ability to control cursed energy. This high-stakes environment compels both Hiromi and the defendant to carefully weigh their words and strategies, understanding that the decision of judgment will irrevocably alter their fate. Next, we encounter Fumihiko Takaba, a sorcerer whose power is as unconventional as it is potent. Dubbed comedian, Takaba's ability is to turn thought into reality, which is as OP as it gets. This technique, shrouded in mystery, has the potential to stand against even Gojo, yet Takaba remains oblivious to the depth of his own power. His technique is a wild card in the realm of Jujutsu, unpredictable and therefore terrifyingly effective. But it's a double-edged sword, for doubt is his greatest enemy, capable of rendering him powerless until his confidence is restored. What's surprising is that, even without a domain expansion, Takaba is extremely powerful. It gives me goosebumps just to think what he could do if he gets a domain expansion. Lastly, we turn to Yuta Okotsu, a sorcerer whose strength is rivaled by few. The cursed spirit, Rika, is at his side, a testament to a bond that transcends death itself. Rika is not just a protector, but a reservoir of cursed techniques and tools, ready to unleash devastation at Yuta's command. Together, they form an indomitable force, with Yuta able to copy and wield multiple cursed techniques, a feat second only to Gojo. Yuta's connection with Rika, symbolized through a ring, allows him to summon her might instantaneously, showcasing a synergy that melds raw power with heartfelt emotion. Whether immobilizing foes with ease or wielding an arsenal of cursed tools through Rika, Yuta's capabilities are a legend in the making. But wait, there's more. Yuta's domain expansion, authentic mutual love. This domain has been revealed just a few weeks back, but we already know the tea on it. The domain is a typical sure-hit barrier type domain, where Yuta can select any one of his copied technique which has the sure hit effect, but more than that it has katanas spread around. Each katana is a technique that Yuda has copied and can use only once, however, the number of katanas are endless. From Higuruma's exceptional growth from Takabas, unreal creative power, 
Where the impossible is possible to Utah's arsenal of techniques, everyone has exhausted everything in the latest arc, so do not wait for the anime. Start reading. It's better that way. We are slowly clearing the ice the extent of character abilities in Jujutsu Kaisen. There are many, many, and did I say many characters left, but these guys are the pinnacle of Jujutsu and curse techniques. If this is your type of content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay updated with all anime-related content such as this. We'll be back with another part. See you soon.